Have you ever felt so bloated, you just can't get through your work day? Bloating is usually brought on by your diet. In today's video, let's discuss 12 foods that cause bloating, and what to eat instead. Will drinking coconut milk instead of regular dairy help? What are the alternatives for beans and carbonated drinks? We're talking about all this and more. Hey viewers! I'm Dr. Sophia Fahl and welcome to Lovers of Good Health channel. Before we begin, kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. Number 1. Beans. A plate of baked beans is delicious, but it can also make your stomach feel swollen like a basketball. This is all because of FODMAPs, FODMAPs. In short, FODMAPs are a group of carbs that produce gas after digestion or fermentation by gut bacteria. All this happens in the colon. A few people who are resistant to these FODMAPs use up the fiber, vitamins, minerals, and carbs from the beans as fuel for their bodies. But for a few unlucky ones already suffering from irritable bowel syndrome, this can get pretty bad. Bloating, gas, stomach pain and diarrhea are all things you experience. If you really have to eat beans, soaking and sprouting them can help. If you want to reduce the amount of FODMAPs, change the water the beans have been soaking in. What to eat instead be very picky about the kind of beans you're eating. Some are kinder to your digestive tract like pinto and black beans. The rest should be avoided. What kind of beans do you like? Do you notice any change in your digestive system after having it? Sound off in the comments below and start a conversation with our lovers of good health community. Number 2. Lentils. Trying to build muscle. You need a little more plant-based protein, but a certain kind. Lentils are high in protein, fiber and have healthy carbs. They also have minerals such as iron, copper, and manganese. If you already have a sensitive stomach, you need to slow down with those lentil sides and soups. When you're not used to having a lot of fiber in your regular diet, lentils can give you a tough time. They too need to be soaked or sprouted beforehand in order for the digestive system to take them. What to eat instead, we're not asking you to stop eating lentils. Just pick the ones that are light in color. The darker ones have more fiber and will cause more bloating. Number 3. Carbonated drinks. Planning an important post-lunch meeting. Skipping that large soda with your regular meal would be in the best interest of your stomach. Otherwise, you're going to be pretty gassy. It's no surprise that 16 to 30% of people experience bloating regularly. There's clearly some food and drink to blame. Fizzy drinks have large amounts of carbon dioxide, which is notorious for bloating. When you comfortably sip your drink through that straw, you unknowingly end up swallowing large amounts of gas. Eventually, it gets trapped in your digestive tract. Since it's not meant to be there, it makes an attempt to leave your body, causing uncomfortable cramps and bloating. What to drink instead it sounds cliched, but there's no better drink than water. Quench your thirst with fruit flavored still water, or just add a few ice cubes to your glass. Avoid seltzer. Other healthy alternatives include green tea and even coffee. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our followers. Stay up to date on all our great lovers of good health content. Number 4. Wheat. This grain occupies a major chunk of most meals. All those tasty breads, pastas, tortillas, pizzas, and baked goodies are made from wheat flour. There's been an ongoing debate when it comes to wheat's ability to bloat. And there's only one protein to blame. This is gluten. A few people get severe stomach pain, diarrhea, and bloating if they consume foods with gluten. 
They probably have celiac disease or gluten sensitivity. If you're one of them, don't worry. There are plenty of other foods you can have. What to eat instead stores are full of gluten-free alternatives like oats, quinoa, buckwheat, almond, flour, and even coconut flour. You can bake and cook your favorite foods to perfection and enjoy them without the thought of those bad gases. Number 5. Broccoli. Broccoli is a powerhouse. Vitamin C, vitamin K, iron, and potassium are just a few of its nutrients. If you're trying to stay healthy by eating greens, you need to watch out for this vegetable. It belongs to the family of cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, and a few other veggies. Unfortunately, it contains FODMAPs. What to eat instead? Well first, try sautéing, steaming, or grilling broccoli the next time you plan on eating it. It will probably make it easier for digestion. A few veggies can match the nutrient profile of broccoli. These include spinach, cucumber, lettuce, sweet potato, and zucchini. You will get most of these nutrients without torturing your gut. Number 6. Onions and Garlic We usually avoid eating smelly vegetables like onions and garlic right before going out. What if people smell our breath? This stench is not the only reason you should avoid this underground bulb vegetable. Onions can be eaten raw in a few side dishes, as well as over your salads. Who would say no to onion rings? Garlic in dips and sauces is enough to make us drool. Who doesn't like garlic knots from time to time? Even though onions and garlic are eaten in small quantities, their dietary fructans are enough to cause bloating. People who are extremely intolerant to this compound generally get the worst digestive discomfort. However, cooking them can make the onions and garlic less effective. What to eat instead try adding fresh herbs and ground spices for that extra flavor. Rosemary, thyme, parsley, chives, and basil can be refreshing. Number 7. Barley. This is a nutritious cereal grain with high amounts of vitamins, minerals and fiber. There are also trace elements like molybdenum, manganese, and selenium. Just like wheat, barley also contains gluten. It also has a ton of fiber. If you're not used to eating fiber, you're going to have a hard time handling that bloating. What to eat instead replace the cereal with oats, brown rice, quinoa, or buckwheat. You can also try refined pearl or scotched barley. Your stomach will respond better to this. Number 8. Rye. Rye is a distant cousin of wheat. It's an excellent source of fiber, manganese, phosphorus, copper, and B vitamins. Just like wheat, it's rich in gluten. And needless to say, can cause bloating in sensitive stomachs. What to eat instead swap it with oats, brown rice, buckwheat, and quinoa. Number 9. Dairy Products. A few people have a pretty funny description of bloating. Many people will say it feels like they are pregnant. This is especially true if they've just had dairy. There's a high chance that these people are lactose intolerant. Other symptoms of this condition include bloating, gas, cramping, and even diarrhea. Milk is an excellent source of protein and calcium. Products like cheese, yogurt, butter, etc. are part of our regular diet and are highly nutritious. But about 75% of the world's population is unable to break down these foods during digestion. This is because of a sugar called lactose in milk. What to eat instead lactose-free products are gaining popularity these days. Regular milk can be swapped with coconut, almond, soy, or even rice milk. This really works well for some people. You can even enjoy lactose-free ice creams at some stores. If you're in situations where you can't avoid having these foods, have some pills that help with digestion of dairy products, like lactate. Just talk to your doctor so they can prescribe you the right kind.
Number 10. Apples. An apple can be a quick little snack you eat on the go. It's just so simple to eat. Apples are loaded with fiber, vitamin C and antioxidants, offering you a ton of health benefits. The only problem is that eating one apple will make your stomach feel full. The reason you may feel like this is because of the fructose in apples. This sugar, along with the high fiber content, gets fermented in the large intestine. Enough to cause bloating, gas and other digestive issues. What to eat instead if you experience this regularly, try avoiding fresh apples. Cook them instead. Avoiding apples entirely can open the door to other fruits like bananas, blueberries, grapefruits, oranges, and strawberries. They are delicious and equally nutritious. Number 11. Chewing gum. This isn't exactly food, but you'd be surprised just how much time you spend chewing gum. A few sugar-free gums include xylitol, sorbitol, and mannitol. These are sugar alcohols that are used instead of actual sugar. Sugar alcohols have FODMAPs and can cause severe problems for the large intestine. Also, the air you incorporate while chewing gum gets trapped. When it can't find a way out, it causes bloating. What to eat instead avoid sugar-free products. Erythritol is a sugar we can tolerate better than sugar alcohol. It's just another variant of sugar-free. Stevia is a natural sweetener and can be safely used in cooking. Number 12. Beer. Have you ever felt bloated after downing a beer? Beer doesn't only make your belly fat, it can cause some really unpleasant digestive issues as well. Beer is a carbonated drink made from grains like barley, wheat and rice. It's a long fermentation process with yeast and water. When you combine this with carbon dioxide, the results are devastating. Make sure you're not gluten intolerant. Otherwise, beer can be a poison for your digestive system. What to drink instead? Well, this certainly won't excite you, but if you're looking for something refreshing, water is definitely it. But what if you're at a party? Alcoholic alternatives to beer can be red wine, white wine, or anything else that's easy on your stomach. Remember, no drink is worth suffering over. What foods make you bloat? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for your time, and see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more contents like this one. Bye for now.